Are you concerned about the state of your finances one year from now, or even just a few months down the road? The intensity of warnings about an impending economic recession has increased dramatically. Companies are beginning to make preparations for the worst, involving layoffs, hiring freezes, and in some extreme situations, repealing employment offers, as inflation continues to climb and cause instability in the stock market. Even the most optimistic people have to admit that a recession is happening, or is very likely to occur in the near future, regardless of the exact definition of the term. The media and news outlets are full of doomsday predictions. But for once, they actually agree on something. The economy is in a poor place, and it will become much worse before there is any reason to hope for a recovery. The demand for a strong financial and economic guidance increases whenever confidence in the economy is shaken. So if you are searching for the most promising opportunity to improve your money or financial situation, you've come to the right place. Hi, welcome back. Or if you're just joining us, this is the Finance Bureau, your one-stop destination for all things finance. I hope you enjoyed my previous video and are happy to be back. I'm glad you could make it. So as an investor and there is a looming recession, how are you planning on expanding your money? Things aren't looking good at the moment. The stock market is constantly dipping. But don't worry, this video will guide you in hopes of finding the right opportunities for you during a recession. Because just like what I have reiterated in my videos, Thorough preparation and research are keys to financial success. In all likelihood, this indicates that the savings and investments of hundreds upon thousands of regular people, just like you and me, have been severely damaged. Because almost every stock is dropping, we have no choice except to spend each day looking forward and longing for brighter days. Although it is possible that you should not invest all of your money in the stock market, you should not, given the present situation of growing inflation, keep your savings in a bank account either. Many working Americans are perplexed by the dramatic turn in the labor market dynamics after many months of improved work opportunities and income increases. There is no such thing as a recession-proof career. But if you're considering making a career change soon, you should realize that specific fields struggle more than others. It's impossible to know which sectors will be the most resilient to times of recession. Some sectors, however, continue to function normally, if not prosper even under the worst economic condition. This is because these sectors provide essential goods and services independent of political or financial stability in the nation. Things are not as bleak as they seem, and many things can be done to survive the recession and profit from it. There is also a silver lining in a recession. According to Investopedia, a recession caused by an economic imbalance may correct it, paving the path for a return to growth. For example, the 1981-1982 recession which was induced by Federal Reserve interest rate increases in reaction to rising inflation contributed to lowering the inflation rate from 11% in June 1979 to 5% by October 1982. And the U.S. economy grew for the following eight years. Similarly, whether caused by a housing bubble or a dot-com boom, a recession may put a stop to misallocation of investment resources. Recessions, by pushing down asset values, may also present possibilities for significant returns for long-term investors. In spite of the apparent drawbacks, a recession may be an excellent opportunity to grow and develop your business, since many of your rivals will likely be doing the exact opposite. Consumers and companies don't stop seeking for answers to their issues, but they may start turning elsewhere for greater value among all the hysteria. If you can provide that need with your product or service, you may benefit from the increased demand that the recession has created. Thus, it is important that you should know that when the economy is bad, the first thing people cut down on is spending money on things that aren't absolutely necessary. It is expected that businesses such as restaurants, fashion merchants, and other sellers of consumer items may suffer financial losses. Even though it is viable to join these sectors during trying situations, if you're asking what firms operate well in a recession, you're more cautious than you realize. Although there is no such thing as a fail-safe business plan, it would be in your best interest to steer clear of the 
following sectors and instead focus your attention on those that are very likely to be successful. According to statistics provided by the Bureau of Labor Statistics, both the construction and manufacturing industries had significant decreases in employment during the Great Recession, which occurred from 2007 to 2009 and continued for a total of four years. When the economy is in a recession, people tend to cut back on their expenses and put off making large purchases like buying new homes and vehicles. This is one of the reasons why the housing market is struggling. If there is an economic downturn in the near future, these fields would see similar trends. Healthcare, government, computers and information technology, as well as educational institutions are examples of recession-proof sectors that provide high levels of job security even during times of economic instability. People rely on these services regardless of whether the economy is flourishing or in a recession, which is something that these businesses have in common. They are less vulnerable to fluctuations in interest rates, which is also a common thread that connects them. Despite the fact that schools have had trouble recruiting and retaining employees in the midst of the COVID-19 outbreak, the education industry can be a solid sector even in difficult times. If a recession strikes the United States, there will be an increased need for staff at colleges and universities all around the country. This is because more individuals may resort to higher education as a means to obtain new skills and better their career chances. This trend is expected to continue. It doesn't matter whether you're looking for a new job or not. You should always be working to improve your professional abilities so that you can be a more valued and competitive service provider. Check out which abilities are most in demand in the job listings that interest you and begin owning those skills. Alternatively, ask your employer if your firm provides any any professional development classes or webinars and start taking advantage of such opportunities. There is not much you can do above and beyond your typical work obligations, which is a common complaint among employees. However, the greatest insurance you can buy is to educate yourself on the abilities that employers need and to demonstrate that you possess the ability to successfully execute those competencies. There are also measures that we can do right now that will assist us in being ready to make the most of our opportunities that may present themselves during trying situations. Here are some of the ways to find opportunities in a recession. What you can do first is to examine your finances. Try conducting a comprehensive analysis of your whole financial picture, including your assets and liabilities, income and spending. Now is the time to go through an existing financial plan, make new ones, and put them into action. Because of the annual inflation, your money may not go as far as it did in the past. Thus, you should make Make every dollar stretch as long as it possibly can. Then, you can try to develop a thrifty and sustainable spending plan. Examine the amounts you spend on things that are important against those that are not really a necessity. In the event that your cash flow drops by 20 to 25 percent, where else can you make cuts in your budget? Participate in some role playing with your family and go through many different situations. You could also safeguard your resources. Bargains may be found when there is a recession. They might come in the form of stocks, real estate, consumer products, business opportunities, and even basic pieces of equipment. You should make an effort to build up some financial reserves right now so that you are prepared in case an opportunity arises. Think about putting off major purchases till later. Putting off making a significant purchase may have two benefits. It can save you money and it can put you in a position to get a better offer at a later date. Think about putting off that major purchase for a while if you are able to get by without it. Lastly, and more importantly, sharpen and widen your skill set. Companies may reduce their workforce in order to achieve cost savings. Thus, you should do all in your power to prevent this from happening to you. What are some talents you may pick up that will help you become more marketable? Think of creative methods to increase your value to the company so that you may progress. Accepting the fact that recessions are a natural and inevitable component of the economy is one of the wisest things anyone can do. Being proactive about doing all you can to prepare for a recession is another. Whether things are good or bad, it's always a good idea to have a budget, work on developing your abilities, and establish a financial plan. A word of warning is all that's left. Nobody knows how long the present economic downturn will persist, nor does anybody know how the next several months will play out for businesses and how they will be impacted. However, if things are going well or even prospering for you right now, a lot of change is still on the horizon. 
It takes time to plan and execute most new projects. So now is a good time to look around. Think about what kinds of opportunities are open to you and get started putting some of your ideas into action. If you believe you have gained anything from this video, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more information about finances. Leave a comment with your ideas by leaving them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. We'll catch up with you at the next one.